And we're back. We're looking at the amplitude period and vertical shift of basic trigonometric functions, sine and cosine. All right, so you'll remember from last video that y equals sine of x looks like this. Okay. Right? So, the nice little curves. Remember that sine starts at 0, 0, goes up back down, then goes to its dip, and it has a period of 360, amplitude of 1 here, right, and no vertical shift. The middle line is at 0, the x-axis. Now, if on the other hand, we wanted to do something a bit more complicated, okay, so if we have y equals a sine bx plus c, I want to talk about what these letters mean. This means the amplitude, okay? And that's kind of how tall the curve is. So this is the amplitude. It's one from here to here is one. So it's an invisible one right there, okay? Now B, we'll come back to B in a second. That's the most complicated one. C is the vertical shift, okay? You'll notice that this is a plus zero, really. Okay, because it's not going up or down, it's just right there in the middle where it belongs. Okay, B is the most complicated. The period has to do with B, but B is not the period. The period is 360 degrees over B. Okay, so since B is 1 here, there's an invisible 1 in front of the X, the period of this is 360. It repeats every 360 degrees. Okay, actually that should be right there. Do, 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 right there. Okay. Now, if we were to do something more complicated, right, I'll do it in blue. Let's say that we had something like y equals 2 sine 2x minus 3. Okay? So I'd go down 3, okay, and I'd draw my middle line there, okay? Now, that's equivalent to the middle line here. Notice this middle line, it goes through the middle of the function. That's why it's called the middle line. Now, from here, I'm going to do sine, and I'm going to go up 2 and down 2. So from here, I'm going to draw another dotted line and another one. So now you can see we have the middle line here. From the middle line we have up to and down to. And I'm going to draw my sine curve within this. These are the boundaries and this is the middle. Okay. Now notice here we have the period. The period is 360 over 2, which means it's 180. So it repeats every 180. You can also think of it, it repeats twice in 360. This number, twice in 360. So that means that every 180, it's going to be like this. It's sine, so it goes like this. Okay, every 180. So right here, it starts in the middle, goes 180. Okay, so it's going to look like this. See how I did that? Let's do it again. Okay. All right, so that is y equals 2 sine 2x minus 3. See that? Get the idea. All right. Okay. Let's do, how about if you try one here? Okay. We're going to scroll down. Okay. You're going to try to figure out what is the equation of this line. It's a sine curve. See if you can figure out what the equation of this sine curve is and write it down. Go ahead and pause the video before I reveal. All right, so you see that this is y equals 2 sine 2x plus 3. Because this middle line is at positive 3. And from there, we have an amplitude of 2, up 2. Starts in the middle there. And the, the repeat, the period, is from here to here. 180 degrees. So that means it does it twice in 360. Okay? Now let me show you another example. You know, remember that if we have cosine, 
Remember, cosine starts at the peak and then goes down to the big valley and then ends at the peak there. Okay? That's how we like to think of it. Okay, looks a lot like sine, it's just shifted to one side. But if we had something that looked like y equals negative 3 cosine 4x minus 1. Okay? So then notice that the amplitude is 3. The period, it, it does 4 rounds in 360. So it's 360 over 4, which is 90. And then the vertical shift is negative 1. Okay, so we go to negative 1. From there, we're going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3. Down 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Now, I haven't talked about this negative. That We'll deal with what that when we show how we're graphing it, okay? So, we have to repeat every 90 degrees. So every 90 degrees, it's going to go like this. Except that it's negative, so it's not like that. It starts at the bottom and ends at the bottom, okay? So let's try that. Here it is. It's going to start, actually not here, it's going to start here, excuse me, and end at the bottom and go all the way up to here. So it's going to go like that. And we do it again, and again, and again. You see it's going to do it four times in 360. Like that. Okay? Obviously we could be a little bit more careful with that. The same thing on this side. Okay? So now you're going to try yours. Okay? See if you can write the equation for this. Go ahead and pause the video. See if you can figure out what is the equation for this cosine curve. Pause it now. Okay, so you can see that the vertical line here, the middle line, excuse me, goes through 1. So the vertical shift is 1. Okay, the amplitude from there is 3. You see this distance here is 3. Okay, the distance from the peak to the valley is 6. It's that over 2. It's half of that. You can see it starts at the bottom, so it's a negative cosine curve. And finally, you can see that the period, it only does half. This is half a period over 360 degrees. So that's why it's x over 2. Okay? So I hope you learned a thing or two. And we will see you next time. Thanks.